This is the most popular SMG in Call of Duty, the Ram 9, but I still see everyone using garbage builds, so I cooked up my new favorite Ram and dropped some crazy MGBs with it. Ladies and gents, if you're aggressive, you're going to absolutely love this build. If you aren't that aggressive, you still are going to like it, and this build is going to work on any mode. Like, you can play Warzone or Multiplayer, you're still going to do very well. So, this build is pretty similar. I might have already given it to you guys, but I don't think I have. It was a, It's a pretty unique but also basic build. So, previously, I would add these shadows strike suppressor just so we're off the radar but the gun was still very very shaky to where i didn't really like it although if i am still trying to be completely off the radar i will always run the shadow strike suppressor the other ones are pretty good but this gun has a lot of recoil so you don't really want to lose recoil control so again if you want to use a suppressor use the shadow strike but for me again you know i run this on every single build i'm so sorry if it's repetitive but you're going to be adding the competitive flash hider the reason this thing is so good is because for one it gives us a lot of recoil control and it's going to give us firing aim and stability that firing aim and stability is going to make it so we actually can see the regular recoil pattern. It's going to remove all that shake, making it very easy to control the recoil since you can see it clearly. It's also going to shorten the time you're on the radar. And then like we all know, it's not going to really hurt the gun at all. We only lose a little bit of our ball velocity and a little bit of our ADS speed. And so now the gun is going to be a whole lot easier to use. But to bring up the mobility that we are losing with the muzzle, we are going to be going over to the underbarrel. And I'm going to be adding the DR6 hand stop. Although if you want more recoil, coil control then i would use the by the way if you want everything in modern warfare 3 legitimately then i would check out guapsi they will plan your account to unlock anything you desire and that goes for warzone multiplayer zombies and many other games i have also never seen a single negative review i'll have their link down in the description ryan 03 vertical grip this is going to add a lot of gun kick control and vertical recoil control we are losing a little bit of our horizontal so there will be a little bit more side to side bounce but you shouldn't really notice it that much you're just going to notice that the gun is super super easy to beam with the reason i don't really like it is because i want to increase the mobility in the, in the handling i want to be able to move around the map a little bit quicker and i already i already can control the recoil so i don't really need more of it another good option is going to be the phantom 5 we get the recoil control and we get handling we just don't get any mobility increase so that's why i'm running the dr6 and if you are struggling to use this gun this kind of applies for every single thing in the game see that white dot on the center of your screen you need to be, make sure you know it's centered on the enemy so then you just ads and fire if you hit the first shot on the enemy and you're on controller then you're gonna have aim assist helping you which the aim assist obviously is gonna reduce the recoil which is why sometimes you beam with certain guns or like you beam at times with the same gun then with that same gun you sometimes miss like the rival mine if you're playing ranked there's times where you miss every shot and there's times where you hit every shot that's usually because you miss the first shot or you hit the first shot so now we have the mobility we can move around quicker we have no recoil but there still is a little bit of recoil so to make the gun a little bit more consistent we are gonna be going over to the rear grip and i'm gonna be adding the retort 90 grip tape which again is going to give us that firing aim and stability and then we get the gun kick control and if you're making your own class always look at the recoil gun kick more than that horizontal and the vertical just because it just makes it easy to use that impacts the weapon a lot more and as you guys can see there really isn't any cons and i know we're losing a little bit of our aim and idle stability so now the gun is going to sway more but with the stock i believe we are going to be getting it back i'm going to be adding the 3.4 pad sometimes i will use these stock pads so the difference between the two if we look at the detailed stats you guys will see it looks like we actually get more recoil control with the stock pad compared to this pad but we get more recoil control with this one because it gives us the firing aiming stability and the aiming idle stability removing the sway making the recoil easy to control this one the recoil is a little bit wonky but you can move around the map a little bit quicker and so that's why at times i do like this but then at times i really like how satisfying the gun is with the pad overall though usually i run that pad so now our gun really has no recoil we got the mobility and we're, all, we're not going to be on the radar as long remember again if you want to be completely off the radar then oh my dude do you see that that is insane this gun is so easy to use you could even take off the rear grip the main part of the build is going to be the stock the underbound the muzzle the rest doesn't matter it's all personal preference for me i want my gun to be a beam so that's why i got this rear grip on here we're not going to be increasing the damage range so if that is annoying use the light barrel which is going to increase the effect of damage range by 20 percent actually making the gun a lot better i know we're losing some recoil control but you're not going to notice it that much you kind of will for me 
since I'm using this on the small maps and I'm playing in the enemy's face, I don't really think you need the barrel. Don't really run an ammo. You don't really need a laser. Uh, you could go over to the comb and then add maybe the uh, the recon comb, which is going to increase the sprint to fire speed a lot. That's very helpful since this gun really doesn't have that good of a sprint to fire speed, but I'm going to stop yapping. Use the 40 round mag. This is just going to increase the ammo count. So then you don't really have to worry about how much ammo you have in your gun. Obviously, you got to be a little bit aware of it. 50 round, I was going to run it like just since on DOS Haas, the map's so small that you do need the extra ammo, but it just really hurt the weapon too much. So I do not recommend running the 50. Stick with the 40. This is the build I'm really liking a lot. And so again, if you want to add a barrel or change anything, then I would take off the rear grip or I would take off the 40 round mag. Keep at least the stock, the under barrel and the muzzle. The rest doesn't really matter. It depends on the map and the mode that you're playing and things like that. For the secondary, this Renetti is so fun to use. Sometimes it really pisses me off. You got to hit like upper chest. That's when you'll get like the one burst kill. Other than that, it's not going to be that good. And then we got the Stim Semitex trophy system scavenger. So I don't really worry about ammo. So I can use the lightweight boots and then EOD. So I don't worry about nades. Now let's get into the game, please. Yo, ladies and gents, we got another small map. Yo, I would love it. I could literally do gameplays on just DOS Haas and Stash House over and over and over. People are saying I'm saying DOS Haas wrong. Isn't it DOS Haas? Do they want me to say DAS Haas? What? <laughs> okay. Can we put these guys into a blender? Low key? Wait, where are my teammates at? I don't think none of my teammates spawn in. Is it a 1v7? Like, I'll take all the extra good bro. That guy should have died. This Renetti is so ass and so god tier at time. Like right there, this that was the worst pistol I've ever used in my entire life. Why is that even in the game? But sometimes it's like, why is this in the game? It needs to be banned. It needs to go. This thing is too good. Wait, wait. No, but he's no, you're not chasing me. Beamed, yo, this thing. Like zero recoil control on it. And it still beams. Just really take advantage of the mobility. If you can't beam with it, you gotta learn how to beam with it. Because it's beamable. And I'm dead. No. Okay, thank God. Oh, the melee weapons scare me so much. Oh my God. No! What did I just say? Because the guys, they just come out of nowhere. Like, I was gonna get the gameplay at Dust but I just could not. Bro, I feel like. A vegetable in a chef's kitchen. Everyone was just running knives. I was on an episode of Master Chef, and I was the food. Changing He's back. That skin is scary too. Oh my god. Oh wait, does he have a shield as well? Bro is literally his name is Dennis. He's nothing more than a menace. There we go. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just trying to focus. Because I just know there's a man with a knife around the corner waiting for me. And his name is Mob Hellcat 24. Bro, look at this. Look at those beams. Look at the beans. They're frijoles. Refried. Okay, um. Let's EMP them. Let's take away everything that they have. Oh, my teammates cleared that? That means all the enemies are going to be over here. See, I want to push, but it's also hard not to push. I mean, it's hard to, like, not want to sit back for a second when you're finessing like this. Here, we got the advance, so now we actually know where they're at, sir. Oh, yo, the EMP is making them all shoot each other. was really good with the knives. That guy was the knife wizard. I forgot they're all shooting each other still. I just know like he just shut the door. Nobody shuts that door. That's how you know something's up. When they shut that specific door. Thank you. 
Thank you for the MGP. I think we got to go get one on Das Haas. Last time I play on the map. Actually, no, I'm lying right now. But um, I'll start mixing it up. I Actually, maybe you guys want to see a big map. I just feel like the big maps are so boring to watch. Like right there, that was a triple. Look at that. That was nasty. Also, you guys are going to be proud of me if you like War... Actually, no. You're going to be excited if you like Warzone. So, I mentioned, I was like, okay, I do like to play Warzone here and there. It is pretty fun. I like to do both, you know. The, the, the game is pretty big. I like the rank play. I like the rank Warzone. As long as it's Call of Duty, as long as I can shoot some shit, I, I'm happy. And so, I've played a little bit of Warzone on the side. And been popping off a lot to where I was like, oh my god. Yo, I could easily be a Warzone YouTuber. And so... I was like, okay, I'm going to upload some Warzone. Like, once they drop Rebirth Island, I'm going to drop some Rebirth Island gameplays on this channel. And it should do okay because Rebirth Island is such a small map that it's kind of like multiplayer in a way. And it would be like Resurgence, so it's like Respawn. Which Resurgence just feels like a multiplayer game mode rather than like the big maps. So, I am, uh... I was going to upload some of them on here, but then I was... Which I still probably will do. But I was like, okay, well, if I have all these gameplays and I got my boy Reese to help me edit, I can just upload stuff to the, the more Seabass channel, just do Warzone ones. So we have two videos on there right now, which um, per day I usually can get one video up there or like one video every other day. This really, it takes me like an hour to get the 20 bomb gameplays and stuff like that. Basically, got the second channel off the floor. Once we get five videos on there, we'll make them all public. So if you want to ever see me play Warzone, make sure you sub to the more Seabass channel. If you want to see the Warzone stuff, not going to be super consistent on there, but probably like three to five videos a week. Not too bad, you know? Three to five is pretty doable. We already have a couple on there, but I'm just trying to get like, you know, a couple stacked up on there before I make them all public. Okay. Game is about to end. Bro, look at that. It's crazy. All you got to do is hit first shot and you're vibing. See that right here? The pistol's pretty good. Actually, no, it's not. That was really bad. Wait, how do I have two bullets left? Wait a minute. Oh, it's probably because 50 is divisible by three. Wait, is it? I'm letting it try. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say it's. There's always two left over. Bro, this might be just a Renetti video. This is why this is the best pistol in the game. Oh, I don't even know what I got, but this thing is uh. Absolutely not meta. And I'm dead. Okay. Let's do the advanced UV. We still have a long time. I was just about to call in the MGB. But we have a long time. We can give them the quadruple whammy right now. We're going to call in the advanced. Know exactly where they're looking, wherever they're thinking, if they're naughty or they're nice. And we're going to come in there like Santa and drop the beetle. And then I'm going to rip everything that they have with my EMP. Also, one thing, I've actually started playing without tactical sprint on. Like, I play with tactical sprint, but not automatic tactical sprint. I make it so I have to, like, tap my left stick once to tactical sprint. Because basically, I was trying to... I say basically a lot. I hate that word. I was trying to, like... I just kept getting messed up with my SMGs because the sprint fire speed was too long. And I could never sprint. I would always tactical sprint. And it kind of messed me up in a lot of situations, like, up close. More so in rank play. So... I took off automatic tactical sprint. It actually feels so much better. So I do recommend you guys to put on single tap automatic sprint or like single tap tactical sprint. What? That was not good. Let's go, boys. Easy nukes. MGBs, nukes and dukes. You know, next year, whenever I get a nuke on the Treyarch game, uh, the people who made, like, the Black Ops games, they're making the next Call of Duty. They make it so you call in the nuke, and it doesn't end the game. So you can get five nukes, call them all in, and it's just going to kill the other team. It's not going to... Oh, no, it kills you as well. But yeah, it just, uh, it doesn't end the game like it does in this game. You guys let me go 110 in 10? Bunch of shitters. Okay, guys, I, I had to do it. I was going to go to a different map, but I, I had to get this out of my system. I, I need to play on this map. This map makes me happy. But it also makes me very fucking mad. Like, uh, you know, I'm not going to show you any of the four matches before this match. And where the fuck is everyone? Did everyone go to sleep? Is it bedtime? Not yet, dude. I, I got to put them all to bed. Come on, guys. Wake up. Wake up. 
What was that guy waiting? He was waiting. He was trying to build up confidence. Finally got the confidence to move, and then I just ripped it from him. Remember, you gotta hit first shot. If you don't hit first shot, the gun's gonna suck. What the? Where did you come from? Cool with this revolver? Bro, you know what I haven't used in a while? Is the deagle. The deagle would be... I don't even know how I killed him. That was some crazy aim assist right there. I didn't even touch the sticks. I know, I know there's someone behind me. But there's a bigger threat. That guy is not a threat. No, 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 there's nothing over here. What, what are you doing? That was horrifying. Whenever you see a sniper on this map. Okay, yo, this map is not mixy enough. Well, I'm not getting mixy enough. That coot guy is the best pistol in the world. It's so satisfied. I gotta move. I gotta move. We gotta push forward, get a couple kills, run backwards, and repeat. He's got light pushing guns. Well, sometimes Das Haas is like a blender. It's like a garbage disposal with a fork in it. This gets a little bit too rough and gross at times. Oh, you're not challenging me? You penchito. You pussy. I think there's a guy closer to me. I'm surprised he didn't push me when I was reloading. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Okay, okay. This is going to be the time where it's easiest. And I don't have any ammo. God damn it. He sniped me. You got a hit marker. Hoo-wee. That guy's moving. That guy's cruising. But I'm cruising. I'm on auto cruise. There we go. That was a good one. I really got them with that one. Okay, I don't have any ammo, and uh, so I'm just gonna push them. Ooh, can I get some fucking ammo, please? So you never want to fuck with the light machine gun, guys. If you see someone with a light machine gun, just run the other way. Because you already know they're never going to stop pulling that trigger. What is this? That has some kick. It's like a horse. He's right here. There we go. There's the MGB. Bro, it took me so many times to get this MGB today. Jesus. It's just like... In the blender. But like not really in the blender. It's just like everything was going wrong. Like I ran out of ammo last second. Or it's like, you know, I'm just, I'm just on Master Chef and everyone's running knives. Okay, we're on domination. We should be able to get them into an even crazier trap. And I have so much ammo now. And I got my trophy system. So it has to be game over for them. Well, well once I hit 200, it's game over. But I'm going to make it... Bro, this cool guy. This is the best pistol user I have ever seen. On God, like, if you run into Koo in-game, watch out for him. He will mess you up. Koo is the man. Or a female. I, I, yeah. Could be anything he wants. Oh, 
was some pristine accuracy right there. Woo. Oh, you know what I just realized? We basically nuked a TikToker. If he wasn't jumping up and down, why whine? He probably would have stopped the nuke. But because he's jumping around and freaking out doing 360s, he got fucking nuked. We nuked the TikToker. Whenever I see someone with TikTok in their clan tag, though, I just know they're complete dog shit at the game. Like, I don't think I've ever had someone with the TikTok in their clan tag actually do well against me. Seems like we're lagging a little bit. Not too shabby, though. Not too bad. Nothing's better than this, honestly. Like, I like that HRN. But this... What is he doing? Bro just does 9360s to die. I think if he actually started trying to shoot his gun, he would be decent. Imagine playing like this. Bro, I get sick playing. How does one play like this? Bro, we gotta kill him. No, oh, damn it, dude. Bro, I gotta fight him and I gotta do some TikTok shit on him. Let's do the advanced review. I think he thinks he's gonna win right now. I'm getting so dizzy. <laughs> Yo, the execution into the execution. Always watch out for the ducks. Seriously. Bro, my soundboard's not working. Bro, I have a duck on my soundboard. That was going to be the perfect time to use it. And then just nothing happened, so I just looked at the camera like I was stupid. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, yo, 166 to 72. Let's EMP them. Gotta advance UV them if the game lets me. They don't even know I got a nuke in my back pocket. They don't even know that I've been carrying this whole time. I don't even got a permit. That dude's still spinning on the ground? Okay, I think it's time to call in the MGB. Oh my god, that was insane. Yo, if you haven't already and you're watching to this point, leave a like, subscribe, with the noties on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. 
Oh my days. Yo, 134. One of them even left the game. Dropped the nuke on a TikToker. It was great. Kind of TikTok. We want to be something. A crackhead. A tweaker. Yo, 138 and 16. Let's go. Vamos.